A risk management framework is vital to an enterprise. If you ask the question, why Arthur Anderson failed and was terminated as a business, it goes back to the point where the, the accounting firm sh shredded audit documents that obstructed justice. But that led from that is that the firm had to was was under felony and any firm that's under felony can't do conduct audits and they had to uh, surrender their CPA license. But this event of Enron and corporate collapses in general uh, highlighted some of the major events uh, and actions taken in relation to internal controls. The first one is the Sarbanes Oxley Act. This act, the main purpose of this act, is to protect investors from fraudulent accounting. The second is the PCAOB, Public Company Accounting Oversight Board. That originated from the Sarbanes Oxley Act. Uh, and the PCAOB is an oversight body uh, that was formed to regulate auditors of public traded companies. The third is the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations and they were vested with the responsibility of developing an internal control framework. Fourth is the Securities Exchange Commission and they have a mandate uh, for the effectiveness of internal controls over financial reporting using a suitable framework uh, of definition of using the definition of internal control and they recommended the COSO or the COSO framework uh, that was uh, developed uh, by the COSO, uh, COSO body. The key provisions of the Sarban Oxley Act which is, is to enhance the quality of financial reporting, created a new accounting oversight board, the PCAOB, strengthen the audit independence rules, for example, an external auditor that's auditing an entity cannot provide consulting services to that entity. Third, is to increase accountability of company officers and directors. Uh, that leads to true and fair view of financial reporting. Fourth, is to mandate upper management to take responsibility for companies' internal control structure. Fifth, is to combat white collar crime with uh, more severe penalties. The PCAOB Auditing Standard Number no. 5 require that the management of each audited of Public, uh, publicly listed firm evaluate the design of entities' controls to determine whether they are adequately addressing the risk that are materially misstated in financial statements. Second is to gather and evaluate evidence about operations of its controls. Third, it also has the responsibility of aligning the nature and extent of evidence with assessment of the risk associated with those controls. Fourth, it might present 
a written assessment of the effectiveness of internal controls or financial reporting. Fifth is as part of annual audit, the independent auditor must test and report on the effectiveness of company system of internal controls. The COSO Committee of Sponsoring Organizations Framework has five sponsoring organizations, the American Institute of CPS, Institute of Management Accountants, American Accounting Association, the Institute of Internal Auditors, and Financial Executives International. On 27 June 2007, the Securities Exchange Commission issued a revised guidance that's relating to the management's implementation of the Sarban Oxley Act, Section 404.15. This rule instates that the management assesses the effectiveness of internal controls or financial reporting using a suitable framework that contains the definition of internal control and suggested the COSO framework. 